good afternoon dear students hello guys how are you hope all of you are uh, doing good and uh, results after the results and you are preparing for your may 24 examination or if you have skipped normal 23 how should you approach may 24 examination that is what we want to discuss especially with respect to fr and afm for other subjects also we will come up today we want to discuss fr and afm yes correct so fr and afm are the first two papers so a lot of you know in november 23 FR was a slightly tougher paper and because of which a lot of people actually had uh, you know their confidence was down some people didn't attempt subsequent papers the first group results are also actually bad right so the it is very important that you get FR and AFM you do the paper well you are confident about of those two papers right so actually what had happened was a lot of students uh, they thought FR went bad and then they didn't attempt SFM well or audit well later they realized that uh, FR actually they passed because everyone's paper had gone bad at that point of time right so because it's the first paper and also because i teach this paper you have to be fully prepared and one more thing for the first timers who are writing examination the last exam you would have written would be maybe a bcom examination so we also need a lot of uh, writing practice so that you are well prepared for the upcoming examination and this session no is primarily focused for people who have already written a november 23 exam because this is not for the first timers this is for people who have you know uh, who have already studied fr and sfm earlier now it is called afm uh, what they have studied earlier and they have a good amount of knowledge on both of these as of now you know it doesn't matter how many attempts but you know the subject right so in balance five months that is from jan 10th 11th today till may 15th or 16th when the exams will happen what should you do in these next five months that is what we're going to discuss here today Right. So, so first taking FR. up uh, FR first, uh, it's a pretty simple transition. Uh, there are some topics which have been removed, like uh, you know your CSR related thing, integrated reporting, one of the boring topics I would say. Those have been removed, and uh, we got uh, new topics related to ethics, and one more topic, uh, partly from your EIS or information system that has been added with respect to technology. Frankly speaking, uh, that chapter doesn't add much value. Uh, especially the technology part because the way it has been structured the content is too less for us to add you know significant value in terms of technology but still those two chapters are added and also the introduction to EAS uh, that these three are the new content and there are some topics which are removed like from uh, leads as the COVID related part has been removed and of course there are comparisons uh, there are additional references to accounting standards which you anywhere have learned at CA inter level and while discussing also we have covered those in the class so that is not much of a challenge another aspect uh, with respect to references to annual report in the new study material friends if you know even when we were doing fr as per the earlier scheme now i'll call them the old scheme whenever we discussed in days almost in every in days we have referred to annual reports of companies right so our study our preparation has been wholesome so you don't need to worry with that aspect one more concern you might be having is with, with respect to MCQ. Uh, Institute also has not released the MCQs full fledged. We are preparing MCQs at the back end, and uh, you know, uh, first you will have MCQs from SFM, then subsequently we will have MCQs from FR as well, which you can use for practice. Don't get scared of MCQs. I have seen MCQs in international courses. These actually make your life a lot easier, okay, because you have options to choose from. You can choose the right answer and no one can deduct marks for your workings if it is right you will get the marks and that is how it has to happen right so 30 marks actually for both fr and sfm where there is a lot of stepwise marks deduction this deduction that deduction you will actually be saved from all of that right so this is the summary right so ethics tech intro to indias reference to annual reports and mcqs these are the additions integrated reporting COVID. csr is also removed csr okay these are the removals minus My, these are minors there are some small small changes here and there which you will be able to you know uh, manage one more thing if you have already taken classes uh, no need to take classes once again thinking that it's a new syllabus okay only for those additional topics you need preparation apart from that you know like ethics uh, which again you have in audit as well and also the uh, aspect related to technology which is manageable so right and there'll be a smaller portion as compared to your overall syllabus okay great so that is the summary of fr uh, and one more point you wanted to highlight uh, was about uh, we launching course specifically as a bridge course for uh, yeah so we'll have a bridge course at a very reasonable price uh, if you already have taken may 24 classes no need to worry it will be anyways available already being added already has been added and uh, 
bridge courses at a very reasonable price. Uh, I think for FR, uh, I would not want to you know, list it as a course mm -hmm. maybe because topics are very few. For okay. AFM, we'll list, uh, we'll, it will be a very nominal price. So what is this bridge course? It is a course for people who are old syllabus, who want to now prepare for new syllabus. SFM to a AFM, the differential is going to be part of that particular course. So what are the you know topics in AFM? I can now take over for yeah, AFM, yeah, right? Please, please. Yes. So AFM, so I've actually made three files that are available. These are available on our uh, website, app, free resources everywhere. First one is the list of new topics along with the video reference. So I know uh, some of you might be aware, some of you might not be aware. AFM is free fully till Jan 15th. So you have four more days. Correct. Four more days. In these four more days, please go and look at all these videos. What are these videos? This list is there in the first chapter itself. The first chapter is called notes. In that notes, there is something called incremental videos, incremental theory, incremental practical questions. There are three, basically three PDF files. Please download them, have a view at them. Now I am going to take you through very, very briefly, I will not spend too much time. What are the changes? So in first chapter, financial policy, there is a small change, role of CFO in value creation, risk management, no change. Then advanced capital budgeting. This is a completely new thing. There are 54 videos, roughly about 7, 89 minutes, which works out to somewhat uh, 13, 13, 13, 13 hours. This is a completely new thing. And all these questions and solutions we have given, we have given them in our compiler. So if you see here, there's a compiler, uh, this particular compiler, the practical P590 compiler, whatever is visible. And that's also with the formula sheet. formula sheet. So they are there in that as well. So some of you who want to prepare, Please buy this particular book in, uh, you know, in addition to, uh, you know, what your existing preparation is because all questions along with solutions are already covered. Anyway, the soft copy is also given free of cost on our website. It's up to you. Then uh, there are very, very minor changes in security analysis, equities and bonds, you know, small, small, chutku, chutku new topics have been added. Then coming to securitization, you have, they've added a bunch of stuff in securitization mutual funds. Again, largely theory. There's no practical stuff. Uh, blockchain, tokenization, in mutual funds they have added about quant funds, dividend yield funds, nothing on practical aspect. Practical so, aspect, the largest is this, which is advanced capital budgeting edition chapter. Everything else is very, very minor so far. If you remember, uh, you would have learned it as a part of financial management three years back. Correct. Right. But uh, I know. Which is the advanced capital budgeting, right? Yes. yes. And a lot of you would have forgotten, even I would have forgotten in previous time. So good to refresh. Yes. And in derivatives, futures, there's nothing in options they've given, you know, new exotic options they've come up with. Then they've come up with great derivatives, CDS, types of CDOs and all. This also, we've done, a, I've, I've actually taught everything, real options. Real options is one more thing and real options is where extra questions can come. And real options is important for you to understand. You have to understand it very well. So there are six or seven questions that they've given the material and then I've added a couple of questions on my own. So both of that you actually go through, you'll understand this entire topic very well. Then you have some minor minor things on whether electricity derivatives, some you know some kind of uh, mishaps and all that. That's all very very small. There's nothing major. Then coming to forex, you have you know payment gateways, SWIFT, then you know PCFC borrowings. Then you have an international finance, IFC, sovereign wealth fund, so on and so forth. In business valuation, they've added something about fair value, valuation of startups, how to value them, valuing digital platforms, so on and so forth, and ESG. All largely theory. Largely so theory. A lot of theory to learn. In yes. SFM. Yes. And for theory also, we have a theory compiler freely available on our website and app. Uh, it is called T380. All theory questions, everything compiled and the uh, incremental uh, theory also is available as a separate compiler. So that is also available. In fact, you see, this is the SFM, uh, AFM versus SFM additional questions. There are 120 questions. These 120 questions you go through, you'll understand the entire theory that is incremental between SFM versus AFM. Same way, after, in addition to this, right, there is uh, incremental videos. So I'll go to page, I think, yeah, so incremental videos, uh, incremental questions rather, sorry. In addition to theory, what are the incremental questions that are covered? The, uh, basically that advanced capital budgeting and all the related topics, all those are also, you know, given as an incremental theory. So if you look at it here. Uh, incremental practical questions uh, where is this yes afm versus sfm what are the practical questions new questions compiler how many questions are there 40 plus 7 47 questions you have to go through these 47 questions so that's I, all i think a lot of uh, ease uh, as far as because SFM, a lot of changes are there correct that is uh, you know it will really help you. yes now uh, please don't be unnecessarily overburdened the change is only 10 to 15 percent if you ask me balance is still you know same 85 percent whatever was there now, after having understood this, let us move to the next aspect which we wanted to tell how they should prepare. So, one thing uh, I want to make it very clear up front, uh, we have been seeing results of both CA Enter and CA Final. 
people who have passed students who have passed have completed syllabus that is the most important part if you think i will complete syllabus later i will do part study this study that study i will leave this topic i leave this concept that is not going to work and we have seen institutes color actually i should say in november 23 fr paper how they do the paper was not very difficult how they twisted how they made it lengthy how they made it complex and because of which a lot of students got a shocker right so here you may try to figure out these are important topics i don't you know deny putting more focus on important topics but 100% syllabus completion is mandatory okay at least one study of entire you know syllabus whichever faculty you have taken from whether you have taken from us or whether you have taken from anybody please ensure you complete it 100% that is the first thing second writing practice solving practice it is not that just because we have given you solutions questions and solutions you will read through the solutions and you will appear in the examination that approach will work only for one out of 10000 students it will not work for everybody right so you have to write you have need to have writing practice students just end up attempting 80 marks 85 marks 75 marks 70 marks and then we expect we will get 50 marks which is not yes. to have correct and but, yeah, on that point continuing suraj my suggestion is feb end write one mark write one mark feb end because this is for people who have already attempted number 23 first finish off the incremental syllabus of fr afm audit and write one mock each and please take any of the last papers okay take may 21 may 22 or some paper of last 2 3 years doesn't matter even if they have additional uh, you know the old syllabus new syllabus don't bother about it finish your preparation and write a mock in february end it will show you how well you are prepared and you yourself can correct don't give it to anybody else to correct and all of that you be ruthless in correction if you are getting 60 plus with your uh, past exam paper of may 21 may 22 number 20 number 20 take any paper you are getting 60 plus you are very confident you can approach the exams confident if you are not getting 60 plus you still have 3 months march april half of may yes. please put in effort and uh, after that you can take the mocks that we provide you can write institute mocks what they provide so at least you know a couple of mock test papers practicing past examination questions that is what will help you and that is what how you have to approach unless you write 85 90 see if you are attempting 75 marks of paper and you are 100% confident in that 75 marks then it is okay but and i tell from my own experience of looking at students answer sheet writing 70 75 marks where you are only 50 55% confident we cannot to make it to and you also need to take care of the aggregate it is not about scoring 40 right because you have fr sfm and now audit now in audit to score 50 might be challenging then how do we cover those marks either fr or sfm has to cover that and you have to choose which subject will cover that and sometimes because of tricky questions you have to be prepared for both the scenarios that is fr may be tough sfm may be tough so how do we manage 150 180 that is also very very important yes and this time you have those of you who are writing both the groups right you also have this integrated case studies so it's a new animal a lot of people everybody is making their own guesses uh we will do what we have to do in course of time uh, we at indigo learn don't worry about it but my suggestion is for that integrated case study you need to be good in balanced five subjects right. so please finish off this five subjects first uh, integrated case study is not a magic it is not some unknown animal it appears so right now don't worry you you are not the only one to whom it appears like that even the paper setter also has same problems and the rest of the students also have same problems so, that, so that's yeah. why institute has only those limited case studies released so far also take care of set a and set b because they have tested questions from law and strategic cost management as a part of it uh, i expect institute to come up with more guidance on this at least you know they should tell us what students should learn forget what we should teach right uh, because uh, uh, you know it's it's too much of a syllabus to be covered for one paper so we hope some more clarity but yes this preparation what you do conceptually is what will help you because you can't remember seven papers and go and write the exam right let's uh, get uh, the facts right so my guess boss is 26 hours in uh, afm uh, fr will be hardly another 5 to 10 hours of preparation around 10 to 12 hours of additional uh, so preparation all if you are already a number 23 student at the most 50 hours of new topics boss not more than 50 so there are some comments coming up uh, hi sri ram sir hi suraj sir hi, hi haryaran uh, hi hi how are you both of you are very supportive uh, thanks thanks, thanks a lot thanks. Uh, kali das 
I have watched your derivative classes. Thanks a lot, sir. I didn't got this much clarity. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you Kali. Thank you. So make use of the free classes yes, going on for uh, AFM and there is also a fast track FR revision which is already available which covers about 80-85% of the content that also you can uh, go through. Any questions you have we can take yes. or we have something else to add? No, I think we should, <coughs> sorry, we should summarize. Basically finish your new subject preparation, uh, new topics preparation of 50 hours as quickly as possible by Feb and write mocks and then take next steps forward. Because uh, exams will be in second or uh, third week of May most likely. That is what our expectation Correct. is. Right. Uh, no need to be scared. No need to take classes fully again. Mm -hmm. Unless see. If you are not prepared at all. Then that's a different Correct. thing. But if you are already prepared. If you are confident. Then just go through the additional topics. Correct. Right. And uh, thanks uh, Neha Jadav for the uh, you know, kind Feedback. words. Uh, never got this support. I think every faculty does their bit yes, of support. Correct. We are doing what uh, we can do at uh, Indigo Learn. And uh, one more aspect, uh, you know, when it comes to completion, especially to those students, I am just addressing these two students who have written CA Inter in November 23 and they have passed and they are eligible to write May 24. If you are watching this video, for four or five months is a very short period of time to prepare for CA final. So I would suggest that uh, you write the examination in November 24 and not in May 24. This is for CA Inter November 23 past students. If you are watching this video or if you have your juniors who are planning that, you know, being overconfident, will finish it off and all of that, that is not going to happen. Let us accept the realities and plan accordingly. Right? Yeah. TK. So I think uh, we are this done. is what we had to say. Uh, we, you know, if you have any doubts, questions, queries, please reach out to us in forums. Uh, forums are uh, there. Yeah. yeah. And we are always available. Always available. All the best and we'll have sessions from you know uh, other faculties, audit yes. and IDT as well on how to prepare and how to approach the papers. Uh, thanks a lot. We'll keep uh, coming up and uh, chatting with you all. All the best for your preparation and uh, see you soon. Thank see you, you soon. Bye.